Today, I think you can find yourself in one of three places because we all play these roles at some point in our lives. Maybe you're Naomi or Katie. Maybe you are angry and frustrated with God because life isn't going well. If so, I invite you to take heart. Find comfort in the people around you who are showing God's love to you, even if it's in tiny, almost unnoticeable ways. Look for it. It's there. Or maybe you're Ruth. Maybe you are walking alongside someone who is bitter. If you are, be encouraged. Hear this story of Naomi's redemption and know that your love matters. <coughs> that because it demonstrates God's love, your kindness may be more redemptive than you ever imagined. And maybe you're Boaz. Maybe you have someone in your life who is walking through a friend or a relative's bitterness with them. I would entreat you to empower that person, to do whatever you can to be a behind-the-scenes supporter. Fill your roof up with God's love so that he or she has love to give. Most importantly, hear this story. Listen to the way in which God acts through God's people. Take to heart what Jesus says to the disciples in John 13, 44. Just as I have loved you, you should also love one another. If there is a decision you need to make today, Tommy will be at the front to receive you, and Phil will come down to lead us in our closing hymn.